So in this uh, session, uh, we'll understand how to configure the alerts for the SQL databases. I already logged on to the uh, Azure portal. We have uh, an SQL database configured, so click on that. Right here, scroll down. You'll see is under monitoring alert rules, click on that. Now, we don't have any alerts here, so click on add alert. You will see a, a new window. Okay, it says which is a database you might you will have more than one so you need to select that and type what is the uh, alert here SQL alert give a description of what alert it is because under the metric you can see there are so many uh, metrics you can configure one is blocked by firewall failed connection successful connection CPU usage deadlocks DTU percentage limit used, log data IO percentage se session, total database size, database uh, size percentage, works percentage, in memory, OLTP storage percentage. So, but uh, the uh, the most common uh, top five five parameters metrics you can go and configure is one is the blocked by firewall, failed connections, and uh, total database size and DTU limit DTU used so currently I'll configure one alert for you blocked by firewall right so condition is how it's greater than or equal to less than or equal to the threshold is nothing but how many times they count so let's say I want to see whether it's so there is a uh, someone is trying to access the user and it says blocked by firewall and last five minutes right so I see it's three times the count is so it should send an email to the uh, all the uh, owners and also you can add an additional uh, in this case I'm adding my test email address click on OK so it will create an alert okay so now it got created so that's five minutes is very less so I just put it as one hour so within one hour if something is get blocked then I'll get an alert All right similarly you can go and create other uh, alerts like this you can click on just alert the data is selected database uh, SQL alert 2 SQL alert 2 failed connections if the failed collections is equal greater than or equal to five times in less let's say 30 minutes email the owner click on OK alright so this is how you'll create various rules for your SQL databases in order to monitor them depending upon your requirement so if you have any uh, doubts or any questions you can use the comment section below and in the next in the next video I will teach you how to configure the uh, auto tuning for your SQL databases thank you and have a nice day